Hotepuge Keepers, this video is a quick annex to the last video on the Ani Papyrus, Plate 1, Line 6C, where we discuss in particular the astounding mysteries contained in this name of the god Tatunen, Tatunen, shown here as a man, as a deity seated or squatted. And I wanted to emphasize one little detail about his name, and that's Recall he is the god of the primeval matter, the root or the original matter that makes all things in the universe. And his name does describe partially how matter went from nothingness to waves and particles. And I have a video also on Ra, waves and particles, which explain how we see a wavicle from the comedic point of view. So we're kind of doing a few series of rather scientific exposés on Egypt, but I want to emphasize in this vein how in gay Egypt the science of nature and the science of religion were one. And in his name I mentioned in the video of Tatunen, this glyph here, this triangle here, and the triangle represented on one level, the fact that geometry would be the way in which the Supreme Being would morph and structure clay-like amorphous matter into the gazillion trillions of forms that we see in the universe. And so I wanted to also show this glyph has another meaning. And it does mean a black hole. We have here a picture based upon drawings of Stephen Hawking's that show a diagram of the structure of a black hole. And notice here this triangular shape here, like an upside down witch's hat. Look here, this is a triangle as well. And they're showing the triangle in a falling state, giving the sense, as I mentioned before in the previous video, a sense of gravity. And what in the known galaxy creates more gravitational pull than a black hole? So all of that, we knew the shape of black holes, and even the Dogon mentioned the shape of a black hole, and it looks just like this, this triangle, this triangular shape. And one could say, well, anyone could have figured that out in ancient days. Well, no, they didn't. We did. The blacks of the Nile Valley did it, and we left proof that we did it. Because this name is the god of the matter and the forms of the universe, and within that process of creating forms is a black hole, which creates the greatest gravitational field that we know of, the largest one, and it ends in a tip point, which is called a singularity. Here, this very base here, this tiny tip, would be the singularity, which is the core of the gravitational pull or field of this black hole. So you here have the, the event horizon, you have the basin of the black hole, etc. So this shape here is shown here in Egypt 6,000 years ago. Not only that, you see here, this is the glyph, this oval means matter, earth, land, or mass, and has three dots here, and then it's followed by three glyphs. So we have here matter, the initiate reading this would say, okay, the masters are telling me the clue, we're going to study matter, and they're going to emphasize three essential dots, or bullets or points about matter and they would be this tick mark this falling triangle and this hemisphere because these three are written beneath this one major glyph telling you they all fall under one bubble of thought one conceptualization okay so here we have that this oval of matter one of these three points is that it's a singularity it is homogeneous, homogeneous. It is one without a second. All things are made of the same matter. It is a oneness. 
but it's also identifying singularity will be key. Singularity is meaning black holes. In case you're not sure what we mean by singularity, they drew a picture of a black hole that is giving the feeling of falling or gravity. So a black hole will have a singularity. And then to make sure you really knew what we're talking about, this third glyph, this half circle here, is shown here in this image. If you take this dotted kind of gold line and you look at this galactic halo, the shape is remarkably close to this letter, letter T. And what it's showing, it's also in this image too, you can see it as a blue line, a blue dotted line making this kind of hemispheric oval, what's called the galactic halo. And every single image shown in modern white people science about black holes, which are the, the forces that create structure in the universe, create forms and suns and all of their elements, gold and carbon and nitrogen are made through suns, fusion, all of the key components of the original structuring of matter are shown not only in these images, here we have the triangle with the singularity, you see here singularity, the singularity of the black hole center is infinitesimally small, infinitely dense and contains no information about the matter that formed the black hole, that's for white people. We do have an understanding of the singularity, it was called the po seed, p, like pet and o, po, in Dogon, called the Pau, P like pet, A U in Egyptian. And we know about the god of the Po, the god of the Pau, what he does. We have a lot of information about the singularity. But white people have not discovered that part yet. So they wrote this little paragraph attesting as such. So look, we have here the triangle. Here we have the Egyptian triangle. Here we have a singularity, here we have a single stroke meaning singularity. Here we have the galactic halo that always surrounds black holes, and here we have the same half bowl hemispheric shape of the galactic halo. Every single component of modern white people's discovery of the structure of black holes, their gravitational effect, their singularity feature, and their galactic halo was shown 6,000 years ago by the blacks of the Nile. There is nothing new under the sun. And I present this video to show once again that gay black people need to be proud. This is the legacy of the Kamau of Kemet. And of course all black people who are ancestrally conscious should be proud that they are part of this great scientific legacy and spiritual legacy that is Kemet. So we have no need to turn to foreign gods, foreign religions. We have no need to turn to Christianity or Buddhism or anything not, not African. Because if you go home to your own and you take the time, the loving time, to investigate your roots you will find that you as gay black men and all black people were the originators of all the sciences and all the systems that became the various religions and teachings of the world. So why go to the offshoot when you can go to the root? So this makes my person most proud that I am part of this legacy, that I am a guardian of this legacy, and I'm one to help bring back its voice to the world and it makes the beauty of Africa, gay Africa, because not all Africa has common sense about gayness. Some of these black people in Africa are crazy, like in the Congo and a lot of parts of Africa because they've been infected by the Christian foreign gods. But many of the original Africans accepted gay people as great shamans. So meaning only those Africans who've kept the intelligence of their roots did not sell out, did not assimilate 
into foreign white gods. Be proud of those original Africans and those traditions. And perhaps one day, and I know it won't happen, but the white black Africans, <laughs> meaning the white the Africans that are white people, which are all white people, will one day perhaps listen to their elders, their African elders, their African parents, to learn how things work, but that's not going to happen because they're left-brainers and don't want to integrate and connect with others. They don't play well with others. Left-brain cultures, the white cultures, don't play well with other groups. History has proven. So nevertheless, enjoy understanding the pride of your own cultures. Be strong, be proud, gay black men. Dwawan Hotepu.